All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to go through some details of how I created the internal door frame for this fiberglass body car. There was an earlier video where I showed somewhat of a slideshow time lapse of the detail. But here I'm gonna go through a little bit more of what I'm doing. Here's just the door skin on the passenger side. clamped in place. So here's the actual door frame. I'll show you the kit of everything that I uh, used to put this together uh, sort of one step at a time. I'll go through these a little bit. This is a one inch square perforated metal tubing. Um, I've used the zinc plated just because what they had. Don't have to. Got three of those uh, three footers. Some one by three uh, eighth inch steel plate. I've already started fabricating some of the brackets and these are going to be in effect to hold the frame together um, and attach to the hinges. Got some inch and a half tubing. Uh, I only need a small section of that and I've already prepped that a little bit. I'll show you where that goes. Some pieces came with the hinge kit. These are nut plates, threaded nut plates that will um, strap onto the hinge. There's some filler pieces meant to attach to the door panels. Um, they use a uh, half inch by one inch, eighth inch, just regular C channel. Uh, I use that for the actual uh, window runner track. Here's the weather strip, I'm sorry, the window track that I bought. Um, I initially mocked it up without that, but this is great to have. This will stick right in there, be adhered in there um, for the window run channel. Um, some miscellaneous one inch flat bar, eighth inch thick for making brackets and things. Uh, stuff like that. I've, I'll actually use some uh, off the shelf, uh, shelf angles for um, making the adjusters which are important. And uh, I've got some sheet steel here which is 6 inch by 18 uh, 16 gauge and that's for making uh, the end plate in the door uh, which I've got a template for that I've made uh, that is pretty much what I've got so far okay so here's the passenger door as I said the, these doors came as a two-part shell that was all glued together all there is is a little piece of plywood inside there and that's where the hinges were attached Uh, it had never been filled out with hardware, and never had a window in it. It was a fairly flimsy item here, so I wanted a much stronger door, so I decided to build a frame. First step was I cut the, uh, I started on the passenger side, I cut the shell and the inner door apart. And you see, I put the inner door back in here now. And I just had temporarily mounted it in place to have a uh, kind of a something to build off of. Now an important thing you have to do to get this to work is you have to make a nice exact window template. Um, these doors don't have a window frame so you have to be really diligent around fitting this template. And I actually had made a double uh, length one which showed the path that this goes into the door. Uh, so you have to have a make sure you've got room for that window to come down completely. And uh, I used that to mock up my outer window frame, I mean my outer door frame. So that was the first part that I made. I'm going to take the inner door panel off. You can see the end plate that I made that matches the contour of that uh, inner door skin and I've used that template to go ahead and cut tabs to um, fold over and hold all of the um, perforated tubes together uh, but this plate serves to hold everything together but it also is where you mount the door latch okay now I have the second uh, inner upper 
bar in. I've got my template here that I use from the other side. Now I just have to bend everything the other way. But when I test fit it on here, it looks pretty good. So I've taken that template and I have traced it on a piece of 16 gauge. So I will go cut it out. See, I just finished welding up these two uh, bar supports that I folded together and marked up the other day. This is the main support for the outer side, got all the brackets on there. This is the upper inner bar that has an extra piece welded on there. Okay, remounted the frame. And also attach the door latch. Really, Tucker? Hey, we're busy here. Okay, so the next step is the window tracks. So uh, on each side, I've got a bracket uh, that I've made up, and I've got that C channel, and this is bolted through here and um, uh, and uh, tapped. This bolt will get cut off flush but here's the C channel here so this is a pivot point to be able to adjust the angle of the windows and then down goes through of course the frame and what you see here is uh, just another bent metal bracket uh, I've got a couple of holes that are threaded in the bottom of the C channel and a threaded rod or a screw a small thread and a couple of jam nuts and as I can loosen these up and I can adjust this in and out to adjust the angle of the window um, so that'll get fine adjusted after this is all together and there's another one uh, here on the back side okay so I've got the latch plate on there on the, I guess you'd call it a B pillar, which is a re uh, reinforced with uh, Kusa right now. And here is the door frame. It's the door. All right, time to put the window regulator in. So this is what comes with the kit. It's got the motor, which has this flexible tube for this flexible shaft that runs up through this channel mounting brackets. There's two different ways to mount the glass. You can do with these two rubber clad brackets that mount here. Or this channel here, which you would squeeze in the, uh, the little mounting tape for the glass and, and squeeze that in there. And that would go across there. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to use. There's a couple of piece of metal uh, brackets mounting to the uh, to your door so let's take a look and see 
how this fits in. Okay. So this will get mounted approximately in this location. I'll make a couple of uh, L brackets to go against this top tube here to mount here, uh, lower bracket to mount here uh, to mount the bottom of the track, and a bracket to hang the motor so it doesn't uh, just move around like that. And then you'll just leave this flex tube up inside the door. When you're done, uh, you just cut off the excess at the top uh, to match the height of the door. Uh, this track is plenty long enough. The only issue I have is down here in the bottom goes up. This type of regulator, this solid tube here, uh, is fixes the motor position. You can get these that have a flex tube through here. Um, maybe that would have worked better in this case but this is the one I got. So what I ended up doing on the other side is I carefully bent this tighter. I want to bring this up a little bit, uh, a little tighter radius, move the motor over and re-bend this so that I can fit this lower in the door because if I don't, I won't have enough room to bring that glass down in the door uh, and hide it in the door. So I'm going to carefully uh, bend this to a little tighter radius. All right, I got it all mounted. Kind of spared you the having to watch me make brackets, but here's the lower one for the lower track. Here's the two upper ones. I just cut a couple piece of that strapping off and bolted those in here. So I'm getting low on bolts, so I got some longer ones. I'll cut those off. Here's the motor strap. That one uh, used as is. So that's why this perforated metal tube works out handy because it can just make brackets to these holes and adjust it. And you see that's mounted on there nice and solid. I had a little problem here in bending it. I broke this away a little bit. I uh, broke this, this bracket from the tube. If I can uh, tack weld that back together, that'll be fine. And so that door ready for the next step. What I need to do now is attach the skin over to the door uh, to the door opening uh, in order for me to attach it to the metal frame. I'll show you how to do that. So I start by taking a little bit of hot melt glue and some popsicle sticks. Those are my fiberglass spreaders actually. And stick them to the door and the body and basically hold that skin right on there flush where it needs to be. So now from inside you can see the skin is mounted and we'll zoom in and I'm making these little perforated metal uh, L brackets and those will be bonded to the skin uh, bolted to the uh, frame that I built and then I'll pull the door off and I will fiberglass all around and really encapsulate those brackets um, in, in fiberglass a cloth in epoxy resin and, and that should hold that skin on there nice and secure Well, it's been 24 hours, epoxy is all set. I'm gonna pry off these popsicle sticks and, well, hopefully the door won't fall off. Yeah, 
And I can see my bottom one did not hold. It already came off a bit. I'm going to have to reattach that one. All right, I went ahead and stuck on the other door skin and epoxy that in. See if this goes any better than the other side. I used, when I did the passenger side, I used the Gorilla Glue five minute. Got a little cold in here. You see my breath? Uh, last night. And uh, maybe it didn't set up that well. I went ahead and got the the JB Instant Set epoxy and tried that on this side. The other thing is this door shell fits a little better on this door. Uh, the other one was really, um, the, the, the door was kind of warped so there was a lot of tension on it. But as I was trying to twist it back into place, so uh, when I released the the, uh, the clamp on there, it kind of popped out. So I went ahead with the JB weld and restuck that one um, and then let the, the pressure off from the inside. So before I try to pull that one into place, I'll go ahead and, and uh, fiberglass it. But I want to pull this one off and see how this came out. using a gasket scraper here. similar thing on this door on the other side this was buckled out or bowed out a little bit the bottom so I ended up putting another bracket out and facing down to hold the bottom in and I may do that on this one as well and then here's the last one and there we go this door seemed to hold pretty flush Overall, we're going to open the door and see how it works. There you go. Very nice. Clears pretty well over here in front, no binding. Uh, nice and flush all around. I think that'll be it for now. What we'll wind up doing is uh, take this apart, fiberglass, to uh, laminate those brackets on the inside of the shell and um, paint the bare steel on the frame. Um, and that'll be it for now. I won't do the rest of the windows or the uh, inner shell till I do the body work. Uh, I'll have a video coming up soon, I hope, on uh, how to install a door handle, uh, outside door handle on these doors as well. I'll put that in a separate video. So watch for that. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye, Tuck. Bye. 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 Okay.